Well, two days after the deluge that killed uh, seven people in Mumbai, 21 people have died today in a building collapse in the city. Little children who were supposed to attend a play school in this building actually had a very lucky escape because the building crashed just a half an hour before classes began. Rescuers hammering away at concrete slabs to reach underneath, hoping they will find someone alive. Nine families lived in cramped rooms in the higher floors of the building. The ground floor housed six warehouses. 16,000 death traps like this one exist across South Mumbai. Dilapidated buildings declared unsafe by the municipal body. Many of them located right here in Bhendi Bazaar. Buildings that could come down any time. It is a part of a, the famous Bindi Bajar redevelopment, uh, cluster redevelopment project. Uh, in 2011, 2013 and 2016, notice was served to the tenant. The Maharashtra Housing and Development Authority, MHADA, is the body responsible for executing the cluster redevelopment in the area, along with the Sefi Burhani Upliftment Trust. The trust says the residents of the building were given two eviction notices in 2011, along with an offer of a transit accommodation. Among the 13 tenants in the 117-year-old building, seven families had moved in 2013, but many had stayed on. And that building was made, it was made of responsibility. Yes, I'm definitely demanding. They are responsible. Today, you can't escape your responsibility. There are 11 people who, are die who have died. Life is so cheap in this city. Mumbai, every monsoon is a worry. As year after year, buildings like this one collapse, killing citizens who continue to live in dilapidated buildings, risking lives as affordable housing options are simply lacking in the city, while builders, governments and agencies show no hurry in executing redevelopment projects that are stuck in negotiations and court battles. In Mumbai, with camera person Rajendra Dhyalkar and Sohit Mishra, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.